Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. I'm ashamed to say that the footage that you're currently watching is more than a year old. I just recently came across all the files on my computer and realized I never got around to editing and sharing this video with you, which seemed like such a shame because my mum and I had the loveliest day out to Glasgow. Um, we had a very specific plan of what we wanted to do, ended up getting a little bit lost along the way and ending up somewhere that was even better than our original plan. So I look forward to sharing the day with you. We are in Glasgow, we just arrived and we have walked to the Butterfly and Pig which is just around the corner. I have been twice before and I actually just really like the Butterfly and Pig and my mum's never been and I think it will be our sort of place. Um, you'll see with the clips I include but they have like china teacups and lots of cakes even though we're not really feeling a cake at the moment. Um, and then I think we're going to mooch on over towards the south side. It's probably not what it's called, but I'm not very familiar with Glasgow, um, to visit a cafe called BAM, which I have been wanting to visit for so long, like pre-pandemic, years and years I've been wanting to visit. So very excited. Hopefully they're open. And yeah, we'll take you along, see where our day goes. That's the only two places that we have in mind to visit. Butterfly and Pig for lunch and BAM for tea slash hot chocolate later on. Um, so yeah, I might do quite a lot of pop, um, voiceovers for this video. We'll just see how it goes. But anyway, let's go for lunch because I'm hungry. So it turns out you're supposed to book with Butterfly and Pig a day before. So if you are planning to come, don't forget to book. And thankfully they can squeeze us in. So we're just having a little walk around the nearby area for around half an hour and then we'll head back for some lunch. Um, but yeah, we're really grateful that they can fit us in because I don't really know where else in this area to go to and eat because I'm not very familiar with Glasgow.
had lunch and fun fact we looked fits in, we had a lovely time, amazing sandwiches, so so large. We've had to take a doggy bag back with us and now we are on the train to is the Kilmarnock train and um, we're going into Pollock Shaw's West to visit the cafe that I really want to. adventure so we got on the train at Glasgow Central it was a little bit of a debacle trying to get tickets but we managed it we got on the later train that we expected but it's fine we made it to Pollock Shaw's Pollock Shaw's I think or Pollock Shields I'll put it on the screen west and then we noticed when we came out of the station a sign for Pollock House and I have always wanted to visit Pollock House actually but it seemed really far away and something that I just never got around to because I don't drive and I thought it was a little bit of a faff to get there. So we just checked the map and sure enough that station is right next to Pollock Country Park. So here we are and we're waiting on, so there's a, a shuttle bus that takes you a tour or drops you off in, in the park because it's really quite big and that's every half hour so we're just patiently waiting another 10 minutes or so and the bus should come. So this is a really fun little adventure that we didn't expect and then once we've done that and had a look around, I'm not sure we'll have a chance to look at the is it, is it burrow, burrow collection. Um, maybe that will be for another day. Um, but we'll see, maybe it depends on the opening times as well. And then we will go to BAM for a hot chocolate or something at the end of it. Here's a little map of the park to show you kind of the size of it. We are currently here. So that's the train station. This is where we're waiting and the bus will take you on this little route. I think we'll be down here, along here and back out and it comes back round again. So yeah, it looks beautiful and there's the, the burrow collection that I was talking about. And yeah, it would just be really nice to just kind of get acquainted with it and then maybe another day, now that we know it's not too difficult to get to, we could make a whole day out of it and, and sort of explore the whole park. This is very exciting.
So by this point in the day, both of us were just feeling pretty tired and ready to head back to Edinburgh. So unfortunately, um, we didn't get a chance to visit the cafe BAM, but we're hopeful that this 2024 might be the year that we finally get the chance to visit it and take it off our list. Anyway, we had the best time at Pollock Country Park and I cannot wait to revisit it. I've been telling so many people about how amazing it is and if you get the chance to visit, I highly, highly recommend it. I hope you enjoyed this very belated video and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care and have a wonderful day wherever you are.